Hello, my name is Zero X Shinobi and I will be detailing 7 leaked E3 2012 announcements before they are officially revealed. Some of this stuff will blow you away and others may not. Just don't tell anyone that it came from me because it will be off of my head if you do. Let's do this! Microsoft is dedicated to supporting the hit fighter Killer Instinct. Not through a traditional method in the fighting game realm, but through DLC season packs. A lot of new blood has been introduced to the franchise since its release, and it's time to introduce some Toad blood to the mix. Battletoads as playable characters in Killer Instinct Season 3, Pimple, Rash, and Zitz seem to fit perfectly into the KI universe. Now that we're probably never going to get another amazing Metal Gear game, we all eagerly await Kojima's next dive into game development. Would Kojima make a simple indie stealth game? Or even go against his own creation with a rival IP? Nope! Kojima is the Jesus Christ of gaming. So he decides to bring back to life a game that has been dead for years. StarCraft Ghost. Blizzard gives Kojima the deal of a lifetime, and he takes it. PC gamers rejoice, because now you have a new lord and savior of your master race. Sega has been known for making some huge mistakes for their Sonic franchise. The biggest mistake being Sonic Boom for the Nintendo Wii U. Sega decides to make one final attempt at keeping the awesome name Sonic Boom in the mind of all Sega fans. Rebooting Sonic Boom. This time with Sonic Team behind the game and Yuji Naka is even redesigning the already redesigned characters. And it's running off the Unreal Engine 4, but it still plays like a beat em up. With the massive success Elder Scrolls V brought to the company, it was only a matter of time until something bigger and arguably better was released by Bethesda. How could they topple the beast that was Skyrim in hype and most importantly, sales? Elder Scrolls 6? Nope. The recently announced Fallout 4? Nope. How about this? Skyrim 2! Bethesda decides to divide Skyrim and Elder Scrolls from one another to create a newish IP. <laughs> Nintendo reveals a trailer during the big Nintendo Direct that will blow everyone's mind away. This trailer is an announcement that they will be attending E3 2016 with a full-blown live press conference on stage. Konami killed Silent Hills after the viral demo hit PSN in 2014. Gamers praised the atmosphere and nightmarish design. It was surprising to see how many were pissed that Konami canned the game with expectations so high. A statement directly from Konami was released informing fans that Silent Hills may be dead and gone, but the franchise will live on. So what do they do? Release PT2 on E3. PT2 will be a playable teaser 
for their brand new Silent Hill game. And with talents such as Dennis Dyack and M. Night Shyamala involved, they hope to reach 5 million downloads during E3. A collaborative game between Valve, Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony is revealed. The first ever cross-platform free-to-play shooter. A game that only the YouTube gaming community can drive to massive success. YouTube Duty. The only free-to-play shooter that is based on the YouTube Council War. YouTube Duty is similar to Counter-Strike, Smites, League of Legends, GTA 5, Monster Hunter, and Splatoon. 5,000 player matches are possible in this massive online experience. Each platform such as the Xbox or PlayStation are all separated by factions. Each faction has hero units like Broken Games HD, Black Bond, Next Gen 720, and even Dr. Trey which are accompanied by soldier units. You level up your classes to get better weapon, gear, and special finishing moves. You can also farm experience on an island you must fly to called the Common Section, a hunting ground with endless waves of enemies responsible for the YouTube comments. Every Friday night, a hero unit's only match takes place that grants the winning faction points to get more views on their YouTube channel. Soldier units can also rank up to hero units by attaching their YouTube channel to YouTube duty. Lastly, every year during E3, a massive battle of 5 million players will take place and people who have fallen in the battle will die in real life along with their channel. Wow, this was probably the best E3 leak list in a long time. I still can't believe some of these announcements. Just kidding, guys. Just wanted to have a little fun with my predictions this year, that's all. What are you excited for in this year's E3? I'm personally hoping for a sequel to Rogue Legacy, The World Ends With You 2, Grandia 4, and Dragon Quest 7 and 8 to hit North America. <sighs> But I doubt any of those are going to be announced. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, can you please share it? See you soon for my next video, E3 2012 Live Reactions.